Hello everyone. Today we shall discuss about Unicode and Unicare functions. Unicode function it uh, takes the parameter of text parameter, and here it returns the number which is code point corresponding to the first character of the text which we provide. Okay, it is about the Unicode. We'll see in a short while how it works. Let us discuss about Unicare which takes the number parameter. It returns the Unicode character referenced by the numerical value. If XML characters are not invalid, Unicode returns an error. If Unicode numbers are partial surrogates and data types are not valid, Unic Unicare function returns an error. If numbers are numerical values that fall outside of the allowable range, Unicare returns an error. If number is zero, Unicare returns an error. The Unicode character returned can be a string of characters, for example, in UTF-8 or UTF-16 codes. Let us move on to the data view. Here you could see that we have A to Z, you know, alphabets and their index numbers. I'll click on new column. Here I will write Unicode equal to, I'll type Unicode, I'll input the alphabets column, I'll close the parenthesis and hit enter. Here you could notice that the alphabets, it carries a particular unique codes which is called a Unicode from 97 to 122. Okay. And I'll create new column. I'll write Unicare equal to Unicare in the number position, the unique code column which is created by us to decode the alphabets. I will enter the unique code column of the table. I'll close the parenthesis, hit enter. Now you could see that the numbers which are present in the Unicode, it has resulted as in the form of alphabets. You could understand that Unicode, what it does is from the text column, it takes the first alphabet and uh, it, you know, it helps us with the, you know, Unicode, which is present and Unicare, it will decode the Unicode, which is present and it will provide us the character. Okay. Suppose that I have particular uh, unique code where I could uh, represent that particular set of characters. It could show me the different uh, you know values. Suppose that I'll write Unicare 2 equal to Unicare. I have the number one number which is 9733. If I close the parenthesis and hit enter, you could see that a star is appearing in all the rows. Okay, 9733, it is the, the Unicode representation of a star. And suppose that I want to repeat, repeat it according to the index which is present. I could use this REPT function. Okay, I would open the parenthesis before that. This would be my text parameter, which is first parameter. In the second parameter, in the place of number of times, I would provide this table index column which is present. I'll close the parenthesis and hit enter. Here you could see that my unique character, you know, unique care, it is repeated based on the index which is provided and repeated it due to the REPT function. So this is how Unicode and unique care is helpful. Let us move on to the other uh, table and understand how it works with the textual data as as I told, here we have the textual column where I have written, I like to learn DAX. Here I'll create a new column. I'll write Unicode equal to Unicode and I will write text column. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. Here you could see that it, it is showing me the text values for the first alphabet. Okay. And if I click on the new column and decode it, you could understand what is the first alphabet. Like I will write Unicare equal to Unicare. Inside I will take the Unicode column which is which I have written. I will close the parenthesis, hit enter. Here you could see that capital I, small l, T, L, D, capital D. These alphabets are returned since they are first alphabets of text column. I hope Unicode and Unicare functions are now understandable. Please practice. Thank you for watching and we shall meet in the next video.